Hey guys, you're watching Small and Lonely. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. In fact, welcome back to the last episode of Let's Build a City of 2018. <laughs> I had to do that little joke, didn't I? I always got to do that little joke. It's the 29th of December today, which means, yes, it is the last episode of Let's Build a City for this year, but we'll continue on next year. Sure, why not? Who knows for how long, but we'll, we'll continue it on. I've got a little spot here, and I was really stuck on what I wanted to do in it, okay? Because it's not a very big plot. In fact, this side is a quite a lot smaller than this side, isn't it? I remember building this one, but we definitely can't do anything big over here. And because we haven't got a big area, it means we it makes it tough, at least, to do a sort of tall building. So I need something quite short, you know, one story, one floor. Uh, I need something... That doesn't require that much depth, doesn't require that much parking, because I don't have the room for it. And I was a bit stuck for a little bit about what we should do, and then I thought, ah, we don't have a charity shop. And I think the location is perfect for a charity shop. It's not on a busy high street, because uh, charity shops never seem to be on, on like busy high streets. They always seem to be a little bit tucked away, a little bit more out the way and obscure. They're usually not very big. And they're usually relatively sort of old buildings, which is perfect for this area, you see. I suppose because the rent isn't high on the charity, on like the older buildings, so they, they um, and the ones out of the way, which is why they can sort of afford to be there. Because obviously they don't earn too much money, uh, the, the charity shops. They don't make a huge amount of income, so they have to have a cheap sort of rent in order to be able to uh, afford staying there. That's why you see a lot of charity shops closed down. So, uh, I definitely want brick. As a foundation, I think. Uh, but I don't think I want to go sandstone here as well. We've already got like two brick and sandstone buildings next to each other. I definitely want to keep the brick. Because look, one, two, three, four, five, six-ish sort of brick buildings around here. It's a bricked area. Do you know what I mean? This side's a bricked area. But I think that this will work really well. It's, not, it's sort of close to sandstone. But it's just different enough. Uh, that it should just hold its own a little bit and uh, yeah let's get ourselves a sort of blueprint of what we want to do here so uh, the corner I really don't want to go any wider than that you know that is the sort of maximum length I can go so we'll stick it there and then I want the front of the building to pop out a little bit so I'm going to say something like this and then this is going to be the front of the building let's say uh, I think five blocks is probably a decent amount as like a pop out part and then we'll go back in here. And then how many blocks was this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a lovely number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bloop. Hey, I'll take that. Yeah, we'll just fill this last bit up with something like this. I don't know exactly how it's going to go, but we might as well fill it in now. Like that. And then depth-wise... Uh, it doesn't really matter. We can sort of go as much as we possibly can, really. I might leave, like, a little walkway down the back, a little sort of tight one. Um, in fact, let's pop this in a little bit. And then I can do a sort of li little uh, symmetry one thing going on here. Like so. Okay, cool. Little pathway down the middle. I like to have these little alleyways, these little sort of in between building pathways is like an extra way to get about it's quite nice to have and i think on these pillared bits i want the foundation to be one block higher so i'm going to add another one to that and now i can put these in around ooh, around here like that and down here up the right hand side and along the back i also won't need an entrance on the back here so i can extend the foundation up there but on this side this is going to be like the doors you know the little automatic doors and windows and stuff so i need to sort of keep that blank for a little bit now um i think for the window part i'm going to do something maybe a little bit tricky but i think could look quite nice uh the window is going to be a sort of two block high window like that okay um so i'm going to bring that back but i want the window to really be set back I, I, I want the window to be set back by a block, which does mean putting the glass as a full block, oops, back here, okay? Now, I think I've done something like this before, but I really like just doing it now and again, not too much. If we get some slabs, 
I'm going to put some slabs on the bottom here, just so I don't see the tops of the bricks. I always find that a little bit weird. I might even put them on the top here. Like that, make a little thin window. It's a, one of those sort of charity shops you've got to sort of peek through. What, what's in there? Anything good? You know, uh, any good like, deals to be had in there? Those, um, those sort of ones that maybe the charity shop doesn't quite know what they're selling and you end up with a really good deal, but you end up feeling really bad because <laughs> they could have made more money from it. There's some um, channels that do that on YouTube, isn't there? Like um, like bargain uh, charity shop bargain hunt channels or something like that. As uh, one I saw, he was a really nice guy. He would go through like the charity shops, and uh, if he um, if he found something that was like actually worth some money, um, he would tell the charity shop that you know you you, um, you got this a little bit wrong. This is actually worth a lot more than you think, and uh, and they're like, ah, oh, you know, sorry and stuff like this. And he ends up like paying. The full value um, for what the item's worth. Really, really nice guy. Really nice guy. And sometimes, sometimes he'll go like way over what they're asking for. Like they're, they're asking for like oh, I can't remember what it was. It was like some um, weird, weird looking like monkey statue, and like I probably <laughs> would never have touched it ever. Uh, it just looked super weird to me. Um, but uh, they had like a, a seven dollar. It was American, uh, like a little seven dollar. Uh, sticker on it and he goes uh, up to him and he says look he says this this is like a proper something something I don't know he, these um, um, well what do I want here hold on oops do I want it like that hanging even no I want it like that hanging over one of them little, little balcony balcony things whatever they're called on there yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was worth like seven, seven dollars or seven fifty dollars or something like that. And uh, he ended up paying like forty or fifty dollars for it. Like it was a really, really like good markup for the charity shop. They were, they were really pleased. Really sort of felt good. Nice little win for the day, you know. Sets you up good. Anyway, I'm I'm rambling here. And I don't know if I like this yet. I don't know if I like the overhangs or if it's the color that I don't like. Um, have I got? An, I want like a brighter green. Maybe not this bright. That's a bit much. Um, like that is the sort of limiest of the limiest greens. What if we go the opposite way and we add some darker green in there then to sort of border it? I see. Well, I already like that better. See, as soon as I shut up about things, <laughs> we end up doing something I like. I really like that, actually. And then I want one over the door as well like oops like that and then put just that up in there and there i like these little um stone walls just to sort of um add that little bit of sort of metal feel to it i really like that and then up the middle here well let's do these sides first basically what i want here is i want two little again i'm going to do it just solid green for the moment in fact i'll probably again drop it back by a block i want a solid green and then i'm going to do the same trick as what i've done with the windows uh which is by putting white like quartz above and below to make the because that's too big at the moment that's two blocks tall and that looks too wide but if we put a slab on the bottom and we put a slab on the top it makes two half slabs of green equaling just like one block thickness but it also blends in with the same design we've got down low so we've got this sort of same look all the way through you know what if we extended the windows as well to be the same width as the uh, stuff above i think it'd look even better Oops. so we do that we do that we do that and that one we do that we do that we do that 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 uh. You see now now they go to the same length <laughs> i think that just looks better that one that one <laughs> take these away put those in take that one away take that one away put those on take them away those on i can't remember how many blocks it was okay it's just over the top of there Okay, and then in the middle, the middle part <coughs> where the entrance is, 
Um, I want that to be, again, uh, taller than the, the sides of the building. So you get just a nice shape on the front instead of it all being flat all the way through. But I really like this. I like having parts of buildings like be the same throughout. So like these little quartz accents will have all the way around. Uh, we'll try and get these like walls in in different spots around the building as well. But yeah, maybe sort of up the top here possibly or something like that. So I want this part to end up being just a little bit. It doesn't need to be like hugely taller, but I want it a little bit taller than the rest of the building. So I want something like, I don't know, with a slab like on here and here or something like that. And then I have like a little round top on it. Even with a green, ooh. What about like, like that? I like that if I take away the top. And we just do that green like over the top of that part. That's pretty cool. And then here would be like the sign or the logo or something like that. So again, we'll, um, uh. Just put down this like that, put that on there. A little bit higher than the rest of it. I could probably make it one block bigger as well. I could bring it down here and that would give like more room to like sign writing on it, wouldn't it? Ooh. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that. Okay. Sweet. Let's, um get this block back again and I need to well it's probably gonna be all flat on the back I'll, I'll probably um do the green part here but I don't think we need to worry about like too much detail and stuff no one's gonna come down to the back here too often are they so we have the green come out here in fact I might no I will put it in I will put it in it just it would look really bare otherwise so we'll have that going like this and like that. Get these over the top here. That was a great idea. Mixing the two greens together, uh, I think probably made the difference on this building for me. I don't think if we didn't do that, I would have either found a different color or changed the design. But just trying that, that dark green um, on the edges really, really sparked a little bit of... Um, uh, what's it called? Not imagination. Um, oh, what's the word for it? Uh, oh, man, that's going to come back to me. I've forgotten it. <laughs> when you're inspired, that's the word, inspired. Uh, let's uh, grab our wand here to speed this up. Uh, replace uh, with 159. I reckon we can do just this whole building today. I don't think we we need to worry about it. Um, I don't need any windows down the side or the back. Uh, it would be no point. Like this. Well, I might put I might put the window on this side because we're right near the path here, um, like a main path, so people could actually see what they want as they come down this side. So yeah, let's put a window down on this side as well. And put the quartz on there. And on here put this along the top do I want the green to actually wrap around or do I keep the pillars in the corners here I think yeah I think I keep the pillars yeah the other the other option I, I'll try the other option let's let's do the Let's, let's put this in and we'll take away the um, the pillars and see if we like it more. We might end up liking it more. So put that in ooh, there and here. Down this one and that one. And then what we can do is we can take those out and do that. Ah, man, that's actually quite cool. 
I'm actually gonna do it. I didn't think I'd like it. I don't think I like it, but I do. So we're gonna we're gonna just keep it. Okay, but I keep the pillar on that side. So we run this around there, down there. Take that away. Put the green all the way around. Put the quartz on the bottom. Put the quartz on the top. Oh, and I need the uh, the green on top of the window on the right here, don't I? I need that there and there. That one and that one, that one and that one. And that one there. Oh, that looks really cool. That's a really nice looking shop. Okay, uh, for the flat part of the roof, this is a little bit tricky. I might change this top block here to like a gray. If we do, um, I don't know, maybe this one, 48. Replace 159 with 48. It just caps it nicely. And then I might even put a slab around that as well. We'll do the same thing over here. And then slab. Maybe this one just to sort of pop it. And then it gives us a really easy middle to fill in. Okay, down there, back that way, I like that, I really like that, and then in the middle here, I think we'll just set it the same, uh, let's do it up there, I lost me wand, that one, to that one, replace air with 112, nope, Undo, I want the slab version. 44.6, isn't it? Yeah. 44.6. And the same on this side. Or should I do a, a white on the outside? No, because no, I've already got white below. That would look weird. Okay, no. I like that. Let's, as a final touch here, put some of this in. Don't need too much of it at all because it's, it's not huge right now. Is this a square here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is. I thought it looked very square. Awesome. And like that. Just adds a little bit of detail on the roof there. I like that. Rail. Not that one. This one. Like that and then I think I could probably just fill most of this in here make the path a little bit wider so people can see in the windows easier I've got to drop that down there how do I want to do um, how do I want to drop this down I think I want to drop it down I think I dropped it down like this on the last building that I need to do something like that on I might drop it down that so there's like a little step down i think that look it looks the neatest that way okay beautiful down the side here and then i think i could probably just whirl that at the back because there's uh it's all flat and straight so we can just go that one to that one there Missed one. That one. To there. And that one. To there. Fills all of that in nicely. Finishes it off. I like it. I like that. Little charity shop on the edge of the um, sort of busy part of town. It's a busy part of town, but it's sort of right on the edge of it here. So it should stay open, should get some good business there. I really like that. That's really cute, really quaint. Fills up that spot nicely as well. If you guys enjoyed the episode, thumbnail, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.
Bye.